Still on news, the execution of constituency projects in Nigeria faces major challenges such as lack of transparency and accountability. According to a policy dialogue organized by Order Paper Nigeria, stakeholders agree that contractors should be efficient and transparent in their projects. The private sector can play a crucial role in promoting a culture of accountability and ensuring communities benefit from the project. These projects are designed to meet the specific needs of local communities. However, the success of these projects largely depends on the conduct of the key players involved. One of the most critical being the private sector, especially the contractors. In other words, for consortium projects to achieve their full potential and contribute meaningfully to national development, they cannot be left solely in the hands of the government. In a budget cycle year, where till now, only ZIP, which is a zonal intervention project, are funded 100%, and every other budgetary item has not been funded up to 80%. And the year is coming to a close where we'll start considering the next year's budget. And what we're saying to help uh, the private sector so that you reduce corrupt acts and um, uncompleted projects, because we know what we're going through with our uh, exchange somersaults, the value of the Naira, the high interest rates from the banking sector, if you go to lend from them, that financing uh, procurement should begin early and as early as March in every year. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC, and Independent Corrupt Processes Commission, ICPC, have attributed project delays to conflicting interest between lawmakers and contractors, with over 500 projects abandoned. But you can imagine putting myself in my situation where I come to a particular ministry. And in that ministry, you have X number of uh, projects. And they tell you that project in the 2003 or whatever year, you know, was uh, sponsored by so -so person. And I followed through and I discovered that, yes, in some of them, um, they were not all paid up. Then I zeroed out. I don't even have resources to go for all of them. I zeroed down to those ones that were fully paid up. And I asked myself, so why did this project not, why was it not completed? Why? At this juncture, let me authoritatively state that with the active participation of the private sector in the novel exercise, the Commission has, through the CEPTI, forced over 500 contractors to return to site to complete abandoned and shortly executed projects, leading to savings of hundreds of billions of naira. It will interest you to know that the CEPTI is in its phase, because we do it phase by phase. We are on the sixth phase, having tracked over 3,485 projects valued at over 433 billion naira between 2019 and 2023. Now, I want to add that by judicial pronouncement of the Supreme Court on the autonomy of local government, which is trending in the country, it is important that we extend our activities to the local government. The reason being that the local government are closer to the grassroots. And most of the projects are done at the grassroots. Executive Director Okay Pierre all for other people in Nigeria has now announced a dialogue aimed at uh, resolving abandoned and poorly executed uh, constituency projects and ensuring community benefits. It's, it is the contractors who get awarded the contracts to execute these projects that are often missing in the conversation. And we think that um, these are Nigerians. They are also our constituents or constituents of lawmakers. Mm -hmm. They have the responsibility to also ensure that projects are delivered so that citizens that we all serve can have the benefits, the full complement of the benefits of constituency projects. Mm -hmm. So we thought to all this forum, this dialogue, to bring you know, um, private sector players be they contractors, business management organizations like the Nigeria Institute of Surveyors that you have in the room, the Nigeria Institute of Quantity Surveyors and all of that, bring them into the room and let them also begin to be part of the conversation. How do we reform uh, the constituency projects regime to ensure that there is accountability across board? 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.